Thank you, so I will pray. Father, we want to watch you for this special day that are exalted in the name of Jesus. We thank you for preserving our life. We thank you for all institutions represented there. We thank you for His Excellency and His family. We worship you, Lord, in Jesus' name. We thank you for the alumni of this great sister of knowledge. Lord, we worship you in Jesus' name. Amen. As we go forth to this commissioning, you will take absolute control in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your word says those who water others shall be watered. Lord, all who are contributing in one way or the other to this project, you will water our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, ancient of days. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you very much, Mark. I'd like to do a quick introduction of a very special and distinguished personality, our as well governor on those things. That's uh Olusha Gurman Mini. Can we put our hands together for him? Thank you very much. We're very excited to see you, sir. We'd like to introduce the Vice Chancellor of Agway Institution, Professor Joseph Adiola for what you're welcome, sir. I'd like to introduce to us the Deputy Vice Chancellor of Academics, Professor Olatu De Aranyala. Good morning, sir. Welcome. The Deputy Vice Chancellor of Development, Professor Philip Obutsude is here. You're welcome, sir. The Registrar of Agway Institution, Mr. Richard Adeyin Karifalu. Welcome, sir. I'd like to welcome the University Bursa, Mr. Emmanuel Oroshego, you're welcome. The University Librarian, Dr. Bio Badamosi, you're welcome. I'd like to welcome also the members of the entourage, who came with the governor, you're all welcome. I'd like to welcome the Dean Student Affairs, Professor Gwen Gaonibi, and the member of council representing the alumni, Dr. Lu Aksoramu, you're welcome, sir. Okay, without done, we'd like to go straight to hand over the microphone to the president of the Alumni Association worldwide. And that's talking about Mr. Adish Shomoji. You're welcome. Of the greatest materials. Yeah. Of the greatest materials. Yeah. Our materials is meant for achieving great feats. And uh, today is another day to show that. Our time is very short, but the program will go on well. Mr. Former Governor, you are welcome. Thank you. Mr. Thank you. Incoming Senator, you are welcome. Of the greatest Bosa. Bosa. Please, I want to look at the that is here. Yoko one, Bosa. Yoko two, Bosa. Yoko three, Bosa. I want you to do. You are welcome, sir. The, Mr. Former Governor and Incoming Senator. This is the first thing that introduced me to Futa Alumni Station. The best not Professor Jesse Oyoko. He told me when I have not seen myself, and today I am what I am showing. So I appreciate you, sir. I insisted, it's a program, I insisted must be here, because today is one of my joyous names. But when I was nobody, somebody identified me. So I appreciate you for that. Day. So, like I was saying, we did not make mistakes on breaking in here. Like we have repeated, and I don't want to take much of our time, we renovated this hostel because we met it, I met it 20 years ago, as an hostel that you pray to God that it should not give you. And you can imagine what it is till last year. Douglas, so we started the renovation this year. The alumni felt we should put back to Futa, and this is what we have done. Sir, the university has called, the VC, the person of the VC has called me almost every day to appreciate me. And uh, the alumni association as a whole. And uh, I also want to inform others that all the money we spent on this building, we gave it back to the university, or Futerians rather. Futerians are the ones that painted it, Futerians are the ones that supplied the paints, Futerians are the ones that supplied the books, Futerians are the ones that did the ties. Futerians now do ties, they do everything. This is the universe of technology. And uh, I feel that it's important that Futerians should commission it. And you are supposed to be an alumnus, and uh, an early alumnus for that matter. Many people don't know, and that's the reason why you are here. And like I said, in front of the VC, to whom much is given, much is expected. We are going to try our best to get sentiment. When you are going for a football match, irrespective of who is on, the moment Ronaldo is on the field, you know everybody will be afraid. So, and there is probability that you are going to win the match. Because any, any attempt for you to win, on the better, no, sir. No, sir. And I start to be corrected. The Ronaldo of political sagacity in the day, 
my wife or many other women's wife gave birth in mother and child. So consider it done if it, this constituency is what you are thinking about. Please, we want to work in other places. I will be the first person to take the result to you. I can assure you. I will not, I will not forget to tell you that we want more. I do what we want. Coincidentally, I just cited the president of the food student union, you know, president of Federal University of the Grand Square. You are welcome, Brian. Please come and take a shake from the Oroboko. Okay, more of, more of it. That's the person that is leading. Yes, of the student union. Know. So, when I tell you that you are going to have a solidarity in the area of voting, I know what I'm talking about. But more importantly, I will not get. Um, psych up by your processor. We need more. Alumnus and alumni member have been contributing. And coincidentally, your constituency across out is your constituency. If you don't know, it's your constituency. So you have to do what to do. Futa belongs to God across out and if you don't know, in terms of land, space. So when you are distributing Futa uh, you constituency program, Futa will be taken to. When you want to distribute to Futa, put it in Futa. Don't worry, we will give you space. Yeah. When you want to distribute to Akureta, please consider Futa first. That is the reason why I'm here. I appreciate everybody, especially my school. I appreciate all great alumni members for giving me support. Ah, my leader, Comrade NFA. I cannot afford to miss you. Comrade NFA, please, one minute, one minute. Of the greatest material. At the college Futeria, my feeling here right now is nostalgic because I could remember this is my this was my first call. The name NFA started from this particular call. And to God be the glory, I am happy today that I am a lawyer boy to His Excellency Dr. Lucia Kubimiko. I can assure my constituency which is Futa, primarily, that by the grace of God, should my boss get there, as a senator, we are going to surprise Futa. I thank you very much for this opportunity. Thank you. We're going to get there. Amen. Mr. Um, so, I can now hand over to the PR room. Because our can we put our hands together for the alumni president worldwide? Can we put together? Thank you very much. I'd like to hand over the microphone to the representative of the vice chancellor. That's the Deputy Vice Chancellor Academics, Professor Tunde Arayela, to make some speech. Your Excellency, uh, all put cause duly observed. Uh, we are very conscious of the fact that we are taking a flight very soon. So we want to make it as we, very snappy. Uh, we are very excited to see you, Peter, to even to have accepted to come and commission. This was there. A lot has been said about it. Uh, we wish you all the best in the forthcoming election. And by God's grace, everything shall work out. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. With all due respect, I'd like to hand over the microphone to the SWAL governor of our Sunshine State and our incoming senator. We're very excited to see you like the Deputy Vice Chancellor said for the commissioning. And so, can we put our hands together for Dr. Tony Shedro? Let me recognize actually, the representative of the Vice Chancellor. President of the Alumni Association, distinguished members of Futa Management, and I can see there are many professors around here. I just feel for a change, I feel like being a professor. <laughs> <laughs> Let me also quickly recognize the PRO and the alumni and all of you. Great veterans. Great. Great veterans. Great. Atiku de veterans. Atiku. Thank you, sir. Um,
It's my pleasure again to be back with Futa to commission this Inuweta Hostel. Um, I want to congratulate you and to congratulate the Alumni Association for being very thoughtful. This is a very worthy project because of the parts life directly. Uh, uh, and I'm sure the students that will have the good fortune of being here will always remember you. And of course, this will be a tonic of sorts for them when they become alumni to also give back to this very unique institution. Um, I feel good being here. And like you said, I am an alumnus of sorts. I had the good fortune of being awarded doctorate, honorary doctorate in your science in 2011 at the convocation here. And ever since, I had always something that we felt part of this institution. Uh, but more importantly, I also follow the exploits of this institution. There is no question about the fact that you have scaled the hurdle of being the first in Nigeria, the rest of the world. And I do that in my mind, that in the nearest future, you will also be the best in Africa. Yeah. All I can tell you, as I give you my assurance, is that I feel a sense of kinship whatever opportunity I have moving forward if God wishes as a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria I will leverage on that position to also impact food Thank you, sir. Okay, the, like one of you students former leader here Nephi has said we will surprise food uh, because we believe that our expenditure in the education sector has to actually be looked into on a federal level. I am going to the Senate to advocate for issues that I care about. I believe fundamentally, and I'm sure you share that view, like you've seen this everywhere, that the great asset of a nation is not what lies under the belly of the earth. The greatest asset of the nation is our mind, is our intellect. And that any nation that does not cultivate the intellect and invest massively in it will continue to be spectator in the global village of development. I have a doubt in my mind that I will join others who think like I do to advocate for proper funding of education in this country. We will get Nigerians to know that education is perhaps the biggest investment the government can give the people. I am one who believes also because of my own social democratic efforts. I also believe that every Nigerian child should, as a fundamental right, have access to quality education at least up to age 18. And I believe that tertiary education for those who are qualified for it should be affordable. Uh, and um, for us, this is not a theoretical concept. And uh, we have proved beyond any doubt that quality and affordability will not be paradox in Nigeria. Because throughout our eight years tenure, we did not raise I think we are just university fee by one couple. Yes. It remained 25,000. Yes. Approximately, you needed 100,000 in a four year course to graduate yeah. in a foot in a Adekula GC University. And guess what? In the course of those eight years, twice, a structure that can compete with any university anywhere. One goes up for Iroko. Most importantly, the exploits of our students in law. Like in accountancy and all over the place. So nobody can come forward to tell me that if tertiary education is affordable by like compromises quality. No. It is a question of the fact that government knows that investment you make in education is not individual because it is that component, that aggregate of knowledge that will develop a nation. So I would advocate for quality affordable education more funding in education. I also believe, and I'm a clear bit an advocate of the universal health coverage. I believe without any iota doubt that in a low-income setting like Nigeria, we can afford quality health care 
for all of our people. Uh, again, it's an area where I feel very passionate about, and we demonstrated beyond any doubt. We put that social democracy is not a theoretical concept. And I remember when we wanted to start a PE program. Fortunately, I will introduce here, did it to you later. When council said, the council was look at folks in portions of our determination to achieve zero mortality, maternal mortality in non state. And we're going to build a tertiary, a tertiary healthcare facility that will find the best in Nigeria. And everybody say, why not? It's possible. If we have the money, we can build it. And I say, it was going to be affordable. They say, no, 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 no. How can it be best and affordable? I say, it was going to be free. Look at it. How can it be free? He says, it's a paradox. But that paradox was a reality. For eight years. For eight years, mother and child hospital, in terms of quantum and in terms of outcome. We had, we started off in 2009, being the best. At the end of our tenure, I give me the best outcome in the developing world. And I'm talking of figures universally acknowledged by the PHO, by all over the place. I believe, and we have done our costing. We have done our costing. Look, when we started off mother and child, free maternal the, the, the cost of the every cost of taking care of it. Irrespective of methods of delivery, we had normal and cesarean section. We started with 12,000 naira mm -hmm. per patriot. Mm -hmm. After three, four years, because of efficiency and because of women were coming early so that it reduces complications. By the time we had the fourth year, the cost of patriot was 4,500. We take care of the pregnant woman. That is all it takes. That's all it takes. That is all it takes. And by extrapolation, I know what it costs. Oh, pregnant women, irrespective of means of delivery. You are a leader. You are a leader. You are a leader. You are a leader. These are issues that I feel very passionate about. And I will be a major advocate for you as a head community. Don't forget that apart from all the free nothing, we also ensure that every child born in the state of the age of five had access to completely free, completely free services. And even occasionally we have startup parks to give them when we discharge their home. And we had wonderful outcome. We, it is on record that a prem of 0 0.6 kilograms survived. In a mother and child hospital. Somebody says I should go to the get book of records. The Ajasa will come. Just give me a few. <laughs> I just feel, because I'm in an academic environment, I also think I should give you the substructure of the philosophy of which all actions and rest on. Now, you will be amazed that if you have the right attitude and the right commitment, drastically crash maternal mortality and uh, infant mortality. Just vaccine, routine vaccine, what it does is incredible. Routine vaccine. It takes care of most of the diseases. Is it, is it, is it diarrhea? Is it pneumonia? Is it all of this? And what is the cost of a drop of polio virus vaccine? The cost you can't even put any cost to it. You get because we do not organize ourselves very well, because our health system is flying upside down, and because our leaders don't actually inform of time. <laughs> Because our leaders don't actually know the import of investment in human capital, it took the day to come here and tell us that yes, you can build bridges and all of that. But if you don't develop the human capital, you can't even maintain those bridges. Because we continue to be consumers of technology. And that was why I feel proud. The two Bill Gates leadership challenge on limitization in Nigeria, the two editions we won. We won 
easily in all those things. And I even posted at the conference that if there were 200 editions, we would have won because we had a system in place, a ready receptacle for any assistance. And so, I'm going to be an advocate for all of this. And I have said this before. <laughs> the quality of life, we, we don't appreciate it. God forbid it. God forbid it. And I keep saying this. If you have a billion dollars in your account and you are going along Lokoja Road, you have an accident there. Your first responders are the villagers who are illiterate. And their instruments are cutlasses and axes trying to extricate you. In the process, they give you spinal injury. Then you'll be lucky if you see a hilos that just loaded cement. They pack you in there. You get to the hospital, they say there is no oxygen. And where is your something? Where is your medical report? You just pack up like chicken and fowl. Tell me a country that keeps and says with pride that it's a country that cannot provide. You, see, you can't provide for emergencies. It is the responsibility of government, if it is so properly called, to prepare for emergencies. When we set up the emergency medical services in London State, in the first year, we gave them the sound of accident anywhere in London State in 20 minutes to help you arrive. By the time we were leaving, by the time we were leaving, we were doing 12 minutes at the maximum. And when they get there, they will get there with an extrication team, with heavy pneumatic equipment that pull out the pregnant, and those ambulances were actually mobile hospitals. And we had a communication system. The, 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 the first responders, the paramedic would have described your injury before you get to the theater. They just driving either current, they just driving to the theater. And there was a time, the chances, we are joined that the chances of anybody surviving an accident in Nigeria was highest in London State. I don't know what the situation is now. But I, I, I just believe that when I stand up in Senate to advocate for this, nobody dares say I'm talking theory. Uh -huh. And I just say, shut up, you don't know what you're talking about. No, Europe, it's it's the everything, Europe. everything I have done, I've done the costume. Mm. And I believe this, our life is short, it's British. It's, it's, it's incredible. Our life expectancy is 54. Mm -hmm. If you are Japanese, it's 85. I don't want to die now. That is what begins <laughs> called the lottery of life. If you happen to be a European or a Japanese, you already won the lottery of 85 years. Right. If you are here, you already won the lottery of 50 years. Anybody that is above 52 years just spend extra time. And I keep telling you, by the standard of Nigeria, this is the reality. If we do the appropriate thing, and I tell somebody, uh, I keep giving an example. Some people go scared and say I shouldn't be saying that. I say if you are 60, you want to know that the life expectancy of Nigeria is 54. Statistically, sit down and list the number of people, all the names of people who started primary school with. If you are 60, 80 percent of them gone. Well, that's the reality. No, no, that's the reality. Either we like it or not. A people, a lot of people, they spend all their time they retire. They diagnose that they have cancer. They need 25, they took 5 million for this, for this, for this. They don't even woke up. By the time they eventually get, if they ever get it, I'm only spread. Then you spend your retirement not seeing cancer. Mm -hmm. If you spend all their retirement not seeing hypertension, not seeing diabetes, no assistance from government. I don't want to talk about our women in the rural areas. Those who are pregnant and who, after 10 pregnancies, a child is not survived yet. So, and by the time you say woman in the right there, say how old is this? Let's say 55, 60. The woman is just 24, 30. She's put to bed seven, eight times. That is the reality of life. And we're going to go to the Senate to draw attention to all of them. I don't want to talk about this young, incredible assets in this country. We thank God for food. We thank God for food. But is government putting in love for this? Our graduates and young ones to be competitive? In a world where, they, where robotics are taking over routine jobs, those are areas that we must advocate for. I'm going to send it to fight for the people, to fight for the fundamental rights of Nigeria, to ensure that with the best return that we live like here. I want stop. to go to ensure, and that is why cannot play any match without you. We also want, you see, today in Nigeria. Part of the problem we have is that everybody does what they like. Now it is clear. Look, if 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 my disposition is 
is a conservative, a liberalist, I'm a nihilist. I shall not be party to belong to. If my disposition is to use government instrument for the greatest interest of the greatest number, I shall not be party. So part of what we want to do in the Senate is actually to define the ideological terrain of Nigeria and let nobody hide behind any finger. There are people who know whom to support based on empirical evidence of what they believe in and what they have done before. I'm going to the Senate to represent Fuda. You will be proud of my accomplishment. I see these young ones. I feel excited. I feel depressed. Because these are the assets. They are incredible people. Incredible resourceful people. We are going to fight for them. We are going to defend them. In the and once again, I don't want to go on and on because I'm sure. fighting. President, yes, I can give you my word. Okay, this you know. I don't want to, I prefer to provide this. Okay, but I can tell you that. Like I told you, like I told the vice let's keep quiet. Like I told the vice in the end, you need a bigger leverage, you need appropriation and all of that. Rest assured that you already have an association. I could do more. I give my word that we can provide minimum of one of the blocks. Wow. Thank you, sir. Thank you, God Almighty, that this investment is going to be able to do it. Like I said, I'm happy about the exploits of this university, and I pray to God Almighty, if we are going to compete, whereby we need this year like that, and I will also be part of the future of this year. Once again, Mr. President, this is a privilege for you to invite me to commission this. Thank you very much. I have on my entourage. I have on my entourage a young Nigerian from Akure here. He used to be my commissioner for education. He's a fellow of the Nigerian School of Architects. He's an accomplished professional. He's done good for himself in the private sector. And the public sector, I can vouch for his competence, integrity, and character. He is running on Z. We can vouch that he has the type of learning, character, and competence to represent perhaps the most cosmopolitan federal constituency in Nigeria. That's a pure federal constituency. Ah. 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 Everybody present here, I thank you so much. The Alana Association, I'm really, really happy because when I got in London, I never believed I think the public would be like this. You can see the old block see. It was already tapped back before I even entered Africa. Thank you so much, Alana. And I pray you so high in all your years. And to the immediate past government, Morocco, thank you so much uh, for coming here to commission. Your good works have been speaking for you, and we hope to see more of that. And other blocks, you can also help us with it, sir. Thank you so much, sir. You are a father. I know that you help the needy. So you will be very much glad if you can help us with it, sir. Thank you so much. I can give you a word that I will innovate at least one. Thank you so much. And to the school management to make this happen. You are so much glad. Thank you so much. Mr. President, all I see now is my pleasure to commission the renovated Akineko Hall Block. See? For the glory of God Almighty and the use of these young men and women who represent the possibilities of this nation.
commission this in the name of the Son, Amen. in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen.